With the Super Bowl only days away now, people are still talking about the New England Patriots and how much air they did or didn't put into their footballs. Tonight, Rick Dayton takes us to Cannonsburg, where a well-known business is having a little fun with Deflate Gate. Leave it to Sarah's Candies to break the mold and try something new. Now, we started about 6 in the morning talking about it, and it took about four and a half hours for us to get what we wanted. It was early Monday when the Cannonsburg confectioner went to work on their deflated chocolate football. Since announcing it on Facebook Tuesday, it has been shared and liked thousands of times. In a matter of minutes, we started getting responses, and they kept going and coming. And a lot of good, re I mean, a lot of good responses, especially in, uh, from Pittsburgh, because, you know, that rivalry. And, uh, of course, some bad ones from uh, Foxborough. Some, some really nasty ones coming in from there. Everybody is talking about what they're calling the chocolate Brady ball. If you can't beat them, eat them. Even the sign says net weight 13 pounds. Oops, we meant 11.2. It's all tongue in cheek and all done in fun, as everybody seems to be talking about deflate gate. That's the only way to deflate something is to make sure it's hollow. <laughs> A little bit less air in this one than what they normally would. Have. Absolutely about two pounds because it was so difficult to make and there were a couple of botched attempts the one and only Brady ball is not for sale we've had hundreds of calls that people wanted them just I guess to uh, for kicks it'd be a fun thing to have but there's no way we could go in and make this. It's just impossible right now. One was surprisingly that we got one. Saris will keep selling their regular chocolate footballs and football helmets leading up to Sunday. They even made a chocolate Lombardi trophy. But the Brady ball, it's headed to the auction block. Maybe we'll do something with it in, uh, uh, for a good cause and make everybody happy. Making the most of the moment and the headlines in Cannonsburg, Rick Dayton, KDKA TV News.